how to host a Counter-Strike Global Offensive CSGO game server on an Ubuntu virtual private server VPS. The very first thing we need to do is create a game server login token. To do this, open up your browser and navigate to the following URL address, steamcommunity.com slash dev slash manage game servers. Once you're here, you'll be on the Steam game server account management page. Here you'll need to log into your Steam account if you don't already have a Steam account, you'll need to create one and then log in. I'm already logged into my Steam account, and once you're also logged in, it's important to take note of the account requirements. So your Steam account must not be currently community banned or locked. Your Steam account must not be limited. Your Steam account must have a qualifying registered phone number. Your Steam account must own the game for which you are creating a game server account for. Counter-Strike Global Offensive is now a free-to-play game, so all you would need to do in this aspect is make sure it has been added to your Steam game library. And finally, the last requirement is your Steam account may create a thousand game server accounts. Scroll down to the very bottom of this page. You'll then see create a new game server account. In this text box here, you'll need to enter the app ID of the base game that you want to create a new game server account for. So in brackets here, there is an example. For TF2, it's 440, and for CSGO, it's 730. Now you may be wondering where they got the 730 app ID for CSGO. So I'm going to show you how you would normally get the app ID for a particular game that you want to make a game server for. So I'm just going to navigate to my other tab here to the following URL address, steamdb.info slash apps slash. At the very top, there's a search box, click on the search box and type the name of the game. So I'm just going to type counter dash strike. And there we go, we should see all the Counter-Strike games now. And of course, the Counter-Strike game that we're interested in is called Counter-Strike Global Offensive or CSGO. I'm going to click on it. And at the very top, you should see the app ID for that game. And again, the app ID for Counter-Strike Global Offensive is 730. So I'm just going to copy 730 here. Once you've copied the app ID, go back to the Steam Game Server Account Management page. And in the app ID text box, click on it and then paste in the app ID for CSGO. Underneath it says memo, which is text stored with the account which is just shown here to help you keep track. So memos are basically ways for you to manage your game servers. So in this memo, I'm just going to click on it and I'm just going to call it csgo-test-server-1. Once you've entered in the app ID and your memo, simply click on create. Now, of course, in the memo field, you can call it whatever you want. If I scroll down now to the very bottom, you should see I have a new game server account for the game 730, which of course is CSGO. Here's my login token. I haven't logged in yet, and there's my memo. To the right-hand side, you have more managerial options for this game login token, so you can regenerate the token if you want, set memo, or delete. We're not going to do any of these options, as all we wanted was our login token. Now that we've got it, just highlight it, right-click on it, and then copy it. So now you've got your CSGO game login token copied to your clipboard. Now what we'll need to do is set up our VPS. So I'm just going to navigate to my third tab here. And what you'll need to do is click on this referral link right here. This is my referral link to Linode. And this link will give you $100 in free Linode, soon to be known as Akamai cloud credits to try out their servers free for 60 days. I'll put my referral link in the video description below. To avail of the $100 free trial credit, you need to be a brand new user. On the right hand side here, you have sign up options where you can sign up with a Google account, GitHub account, or your email address. Click on one of these options and follow the on-screen instructions to set up your Akamai slash Linode account. Now, I won't be creating an account as I already have one. So once you've created yours, simply log in by clicking on login at the top right-hand corner here. Once you've logged in, you'll be taken to the Linode slash Akamai dashboard. Make sure you've clicked on Linodes at the top left-hand corner here and then click on Create Linode. At the very top, you'll be in the Distributions tab. The tab that we're looking for is Marketplace. Click on Marketplace. Once here, we'll need to select an app. The app that we're going to be selecting is CSGO. You can either type it in here or what I like to do is use the filters. So I'm going to navigate to the right-hand side here, click on Select Category and then click on Games. As you can see, this VPS host allows you to create a number of game servers for the following games, Arc, CSGO, Minecraft Java Edition, Rust, Terraria, I hope I'm saying that right, TF2, and Valheim. Of course, the game that we're going to be creating a game server for is CSGO. Click on CSGO to select this app. Once you've selected it, scroll down until you see where it says CSGO Setup. Underneath that, we'll need to fill in a couple of things. First of all is the game server login token. All you need to do in here, click on the box, right click and paste in your game server login token that you created earlier. The Archon password 
is the password we're going to be using to log into our CSGO server through the console to control our server. Make sure you create a strong Archon password. So I'm just going to fill that in now. Once you've chosen an Archon password, there are further configuration options for your CSGO game server that you can set up. So first of all is the message of the day. There's a default message of the day here. I'm going to delete that. And for my server's message of the day, welcome to Websplainings. CSGO server. Once you've entered in a message of the day, the next thing you need to customize is your server name. So again, I'm going to delete what's in there and I'm going to type websplaining server. Once you've given your server a name, you have the option to set up a CSGO server password before joining your server. So it kind of makes your server invite only as people will need the password to join your server. You can leave CSGO server password blank if you want, as I want my server to be publicly available to everyone in the community server list. I'm now going to scroll down to see the further options. The next option is team balance enabled. I'm going to keep that enabled. Round time limit is currently set to five. I'm going to leave that as it is. Maximum rounds is 10. I'm going to change this to 15 as I like my rounds a bit longer. Buy Anywhere is currently disabled. I'm going to leave that disabled. Friendly Fire Enabled is currently set to disabled. I'm going to leave that as disabled. Next is select an image. So I'm going to click on choose an image here. You have the option between Debian 11 or Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. I'm going to go with Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. This will be the operating system that gets installed on your server. I'm now going to continue scrolling down until I see region. Click on select a region and you'll have lots of options to choose where you want to base your CSGO server. It's best to go with a server closest to you and your friends or even somewhere in the middle if you aren't all in in the same geographic location. For me, I'm going to be going with a server in Europe and I'm going to be going with London UK, EU West. So I'm going to click on this server to select it. Next is your Linode plan. By default, you'll be on the dedicated CPU. The one that you most likely want is shared CPU. Click on shared CPU. Why shared CPU, you might ask? Well, these are the most reasonably priced VPS plans on Linode, and they are good for just starting out. For CSGO, it is advised to start with the Linode 4 gigabyte plan, which as you can see is around $24 a month. And here's the hourly price. What you get exactly is four gigabytes of RAM, two CPUs, 80 gigabytes of storage, and four terabytes of transfer or bandwidth, which should be more than enough for your CSGO server. To select this plan, click on the circle next to it. Once you've chosen your plan, continue scrolling down until you see where it says Linode label. This label is how you're going to be identifying your server from your Linode's list. So I'm going to delete what's default in here. I'm going to label our server the same as our Steam game server account. So I'm going to call it csgo-test dash server dash one. Once you've chosen your Linode label, you can add tags if you want, but I'm not going to bother. And then the last thing we need to set is the root password for our VPS. This is different to the Archon password. The Archon password is specifically for the CSGO game server to control the game server essentially. The root password is used to log into your Linode server as root via a protocol, for example, like SSH. So I'm going to choose a root password in here now. Make sure it's a strong password. Once you've chosen your root password, scroll down to the very bottom. You'll then see a summary of your Linode server. So as you can see, the operating system for our Linode server is Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. It's in the region of London, UK, and this is our Linode plan. At the bottom right hand corner, you should see Create Linode. Click on Create Linode. Linode will then begin setting up our Linode server on an Ubuntu OS and installing and setting up the CSGO game server. I'll be back with you guys once our server is running. All right, guys, I'm back. Our Linode server is now running. That was fairly fast. However, that doesn't mean our CSGO server has been fully set up yet. It usually takes around 30 minutes for your CSGO server to be fully up and running. So I'll be back with you guys in roughly 30 minutes once that time has elapsed. And then I'll take you through the process of connecting to your CSGO server and using some Archon console commands. All right, I'm back. It's roughly been around 30 minutes, give or take. Our CSGO game server should be now running. Now what we're going to do is connect to our game server. To do this, we're going to need to copy the IP address of our Linode server. The IP address of a Linode server is right here where it says IP address and underneath you'll see the IP address. Mine is 143.42.108.192. So all I'm going to do is copy this IP address by clicking on the copy button to the right hand side of it. Once you've copied your IP address, open up CSGO. Once you've got CSGO open, you're going to need to enable the CSGO console. To do this, navigate to the left hand side and click on the not icon called settings menu. Once you've done that, Click on the game tab. In game, you should see enable developer console, which by default is currently set to no. 
you're going to click on the arrow next to no and change it to yes. Click on yes. Once you've done that, click on the play icon here at the top left hand corner to play CSGO. Once you've done that, at the top left hand corner where it says official matchmaking, click on this arrow. You're going to be changing it from official matchmaking or wherever it currently is set to, to community server browser. Once you've done that, you might be greeted with this community server's notification telling you that community servers are run by other players and may offer new and different experiences from official servers. On this window, just simply click on OK. Once you've done that, you'll be greeted with the community servers list browser. You should be by default on the internet tab. The tab that we want is favorites. Click on favorites. Once you're in the favorites tab, right click anywhere in the blank servers list, and then you should see an option which says add server by IP address. Click on this. You'll then be greeted with a small tab which says add server dash servers. Enter the IP address of the server you wish to add. So all you need to do is click on this box and paste in your Linode server's IP address. All that's left to do now is to click on add this address to favorites. Once you've done that, at the very top, you should see your CSGO server's name in the servers list. So as you can see, my server called Websplaining Server has been added to my favorites. You can see zero out of 16 players have connected to my server. That's normal, this is a brand new server. The current default map is DE underscore Mirage. Here's the latency and here are the tags. To connect to your CSGO server, simply click on it and you can either click on connect at the bottom right hand corner here or you can right click on it and then click on connect to server. I'm just going to click on connect here at the bottom right hand corner. You should then be taken to your CSGO server on Mirage. I'll be back with you once that's connected. All right, I'm back. You now have the option to choose between T and CTs. I'm going to go with CTs and then you'll be loaded up into the game. When you first connect to your CSGO server, my advice is to load up the console. To do this, of course, you'll need to enable your console, which we have already done. And then on your keyboard, you'll need to press either the title key or the back tick button. So I'm going to press on the back tick button in here to bring up my CSGO console. At the very bottom of the console, there's a little box. Click on this box, and then what we're going to need to do is to log into our CSGO server using our Archon password so that our server knows we are the owner of our CSGO server, and then this will allow us to enter in commands into the console. So the first command you should type in here is Archon underscore password space, and then the Archon password that you created when you were setting up your Linode server. So I'm just going to paste that in here now. Once you've entered in your password, all that's left to do is to hit enter on your keyboard. You can also click on submit. I'm just going to hit enter on my keyboard. Great, so we're now logged into our server and we can use the Archon commands. So as an example, I'm going to type in an Archon command to change the map level from Mirage to something else. So first, I'm just going to tab out of my CSGO game here to be brought out of the game. And now I'm just going to open up my fourth tab here, which is a tab that takes me to a web page called Archon or R-C-O-N command CSGO. Here you'll see a table list of all the commands you can type into your CSGO console. I'll put a link to this web page in the video description below. The command that I'm going to be using today is the change map level name command. And in the middle column here, you can see the exact Archon command. So the Archon command is Archon space change level space and then your map level name. So in this example, it says DE underscore dust, which will change the map to dust. Now, if you wanted a map that isn't dust, you can go to my fifth tab here, which takes us to the Valve Developer Community Wiki for Counter-Strike Global Offensive Maps. Underneath current maps, you'll see a list of all the maps that you can change your CSGO game server's map to. So for example, if I wanted to change my game server map to ancient, I would need to enter DE underscore ancient. The third column here called internal BSP name are the actual map names you'll need to enter in along with the Archon command. So let me go back to my fourth tab here. So for example, you would type Archon change level DE underscore ancient. Great, so now we know the command that we're going to be typing into our console. We can open back up our CSGO game server. Server. And as you can see, we've been kicked out of our server, but that's not a big deal. We can just close out of the console here and we've been kicked for inactivity. We can click the play CSGO button here, change official matchmaking to community game servers, click on OK and right click on our server name and click on connect to server. We'll be taken right back into our CSGO game server. Once you're back in, choose a side, press the console button and just to be safe, we'll probably need to enter archon underscore password once again. What's good about the console is that it saves all your archon commands. So as you can see, archon underscore password and then our password is already in the drop down menu. I'm just going to click on it to select it and then I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. Whoops, I accidentally hit enter twice there but it doesn't matter. All you needed to do was hit enter once or submit once. Now in here, once you've got an idea of the map you want to change to, type the change map command. So type archon space 
change level space de underscore ancient and then hit enter on your keyboard and then as you can see you'll be greeted with a load screen where your server will begin to change the map from mirage to the map that you entered into the console command which in my case was ancient and there we go guys we have now changed our game servers map to ancient and now you can share the ip address of your csgo game server with your friends and other guests if you want to add a domain name and point that domain name to the ip address of your server so let's say for example csgo.websplaining.com then you can do that also i'll probably make a video in the future on how to do this great so that pretty much concludes the video on how to host a counter-strike global offensive csgo game server on an ubuntu virtual private server vps if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a like comment down below and most importantly of all subscribe to support the channel i'll see you on the next video Why is it so